All right, guys, we're here again with the Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 character rehab, and it's your host, Andre Lambert. I will be teaching you Iron Fist today. Some basics, some intermediates, and some advanced. Normal, special, movement, assist, and supers, and some advanced tactics to go at the end with you guys. All right, so first, we're going to start with his normals, of course. And with the normals, I'll be starting with his light, medium, heavy, forward heavy, and special. Now, here, as you can see, his light and medium, which I'm starting with the light, of course, his light and medium are completely worthless. They have no usage, but only in combos. His jump light, though, has a whole lot of priority. You preferably want to chain this into S as on the way down. You can do a little delayed S, get down to the ground, but there's no real need to do that. His medium is a good anti-air, as you can see, from far, and a great... Uh, air, air, like an air whiff punish. You generally don't want to use it actually to like whiff punish people who are approaching you. But his standing C is used for that. As you can see, it whiff punishes uh, jab normals. It even out prioritizes it. It's more likely not to trade. So you want to go with this as your uh, general whiff punish button. His forward C is a great anti-air and you can jump cancel off this button and go into a jumping combo in which you will land and chain into a wrecker. I'll be showing you guys this in his bread and butter section later. So there goes his jumps, uh, his forward C, I was about to say jump C. There goes his forward C, as you can see there, great anti-air. I don't see anyone jumping in on that button. Here goes his crouching normals, as you saw there. And here goes his crouching C. His crouching C can be chained into forward C in which there you can do a jump cancel into a combo as I stated before, which you once again will see in the bread and butter section. There goes his standing S. His standing S is, oh God, it's a launcher, but it only hits airborne opponents. So it's actually completely worthless. It's a low and it has good range. That's about as much as I can say about it. It doesn't work well with this game's engine and I'm not gonna drag that on, so. Let's talk about his specials. His specials are his wreckers, yes. His wreckers can be chained into in any way you want them to, except for the ones that come out of the specials. The specials can only be done after you've done them, after you've done two other wreckers. I do warn you, do not do medium or heavy wrecker in any, in any way on block because they're unsafe. Only use the jab version of the wreckers to hit confirm. All right, here are um, Iron Fist's assist. That is the Rising Fang, right? This is good because it's really fast and it does a ton of damage. I'm gonna be switching off his assist now. I wanna switch to the medium Rekka assist. This causes stun. It's really, really good. It's for extending combos or the initial hit. It's actually better than what people think it is. It can just come out of nowhere and just hit an opponent while you're being hit. Think of Tron or think of Hagar, but without the invincibility. So for those of you who want to take the risk and use that, you can go ahead. It's not that bad, actually. Now, here goes his OTG assist, which is, again, the medium wrecker, but quarter circle back medium wrecker. And that one's used to extend combos after you've done a long, drawn-out combo of taking your opponent to the floor. And boom, there you go. Launcher again. You guys get the point in that, right? I think of Wesker's uh, OTG shot. Here we go with the movement. Now, I don't have too much to say about Iron Fist movement, but... His wave dash, I would say, is S-Class, and you can kind of bunny hop with him, and you can use standing C, as I said, to whiff punish normals, but you can actually use standing C to get in. Why? Because standing C can be powered into special moves. I'll be showing you that in the advanced section, okay? So, you guys watch what I'm doing here. You saw I bunny hopped on my opponent right now. And, oh, I get big damage off of this. Whatever. It's a nice little, so, oh my god, that took so much damage. All right, so that pretty much does it for his movement. I'm gonna be going into his supers. His supers, this one has a bit of armor when it starts up. I don't know how much, so I won't state, but from a distance, it can punish supers like this. Wee. That was really good. All right, but be warned, if you didn't space it correctly, you will be punished, such as there, as you see. All right, so I'm gonna move on to his Rising Dragon Super, which can be used as an anti-air. It also completely shields Iron Fist, as you can see here. I actually want uh, Deadpool to do a super. You'll see him do a super, and I'll do a Rising Dragon, and I'll be completely shielded. 
So it does pack a bit of invincibility at the beginning of the super, as you saw. So now we're gonna move on to his level three. I'll just give you one more example of the rising dragon. His level three is like a, it has an area effect, which is really cool. Now, what I mean area effect is, if you're standing anywhere within that area and not blocking, you're being hit. So you can actually use that level three as like a counter. As where you wouldn't use other level threes to do that. So here goes some of Iron Fist bread and butter. So I'm gonna take a moment to relax while you guys sit back and you relax and watch his bread and butters. Oh my god, that took so much damage. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't, I, I can't stay silent. It, this guy hurts. He really does. I see why they made him the way he did. Uh, by the way, guys, that only works on standing opponents. But if you're good at hit confirming by the fourth hit, you can, you know, you can pretty much notice that you, your opponent's standing. You can go into a little jump bread and butter there. Now, this is the most practical bread and butter I feel that Iron Fist has. Why? Because you're going to be opening people with lows most of the time. That's a part of the metagame of this game so that's the one you're going to be wanting to use in my opinion take it with a grain of salt and of course like i said guys if your gp is low please slow the video down now i'm gonna show some synergy some team assist that uh you can use with iron fist look guys we know iron fist is not the greatest character so he just screams help me <laughs> He screams, please stand still so I can mix you up. And I'm giving you guys a whole list of things that keep you down here. Shopping cart, Sentinel Force, Lightning Legs, Jam Session, and of course Strider, the everybody's assist, and the Tatsumaki, of course, from Akuma. All right, so I wanna move on to the advanced tactics section. I'm gonna be waiting for that to come up, of course. All right, so we're gonna start with the positioning that you generally want to be with Iron Fist, you kind of want to be at that mid-range stand. You want to be at the tip of standing C range. Why? Because no one will ever know when you're actually gonna like launch that move out. They don't know if you're gonna wave dash, come in with your crouch and jab, or they don't know if you're just gonna thaw stand C and just out prioritize everything anybody's doing. You also, which I did not mention in a special move section, I'm aware that I didn't mention his parries and his power-ups. You want to cancel into his power-ups to kind of make things that you whiffed unsafe. Why? Because a person will swing on you, you'll get the parry and then you'll be able to swing on them. So I'm actually thinking Iron Fist is not as bad as everyone thinks he is. But as you guys can see what I'm doing here, right? What I'm trying to show you here is the strings of records you can use to keep approaching your opponent even though they've advanced guarded you multiple times. And as you can see, I'm ending it off with the safest record you can do, which is the Light Wrecker, Fort Light Wrecker, or Back Light Wrecker, which is the uh, Dragon's Tail which is the low kick. As you can see there, uh, basically imagine me doing those strings with an assist backing me up. But besides that, his Rising Dragon uh, Super is an anti-air. I mentioned that earlier, but I want you to visually see this. It's an anti-air and when blocked from the top of the screen, it's completely safe. So let's say you have a character like Magneto calling out drones on the floor and he's jumping all around you, Rising Dragon him. There you go, I bet you he'll stop doing it. All right, so what I wanna show you guys here is the coolest thing that I found out. I'm pretty sure everybody knows about this, but when you put it into context for people, it really opens their eyes to what's going on here. I am carrying his standing C into Dragon's Tail or the overhead. Now, it doesn't make much sense me doing this in the way I'm showing you, but imagine me stringing it up with an assist or doing it from a distance where I know I've had my opponent scared to swing, basically on me because Iron Fist is a footsie character. So I'm showing you guys here, I'm just doing a regular string, getting my opponent used to me stringing it into an overhead, but what if I carved the standing C before it came out into a low or an overhead? You know, you gotta train people to get hit by this. It's not gonna be free, it's not gonna be easy because it's Iron Fist. Now, so let me do a little recap. He has high damage, amazing normals. He can cover the ground in no time because of his wave dash. He has a low hitting special. Ability to beat badly time push blocks. His rising dragon sis is just amazing. And he can Kara normals basically mid full screen. The negatives though is he has no air mobility. Once he takes to the skies, he's screwed. His launcher doesn't hit airborne opponents. It totally doesn't fit the game's mechanics. And his crouching L isn't a low. So 
I don't know what more I can say about that. You're gonna have to work hard with this character, but I really think he can do it. I think if you work hard with him, you can do it with him. And you guys know me, I'm a, I'm a character specialist and I always like to go on with characters. So I'm signing off, I'll be seeing you guys later. Thanks for watching.